Greetings, it's Bob Holman here at the Bowery Poetry Club along with the poet Edward Hirsch and we're going to go to the movies. We're going to see a movie based on a poem by the Israeli poet Yehuda Amakai. It's called David. It's based on, but I'm not going to say any of that now. We'll be back in just a minute to talk about the poem that is the film.
there's uh, an example of uh, a poem that is a film, of a poem that has a political edge and a film that keeps it, and yet you can't see that it is, you can't say that it's about uh, politics or that it's uh, rhetorical in any fashion. And that kind of, uh, of politics is what Yehuda Amachai had at the core of a lot of his work and that you had have at the core of yours. I don't see how you do it. How do you manage to find a line that balances the political inside the poem? Well, you know, there are lots of different ways to be a political poet. I mean, there are some poets who are extremely didactic. There's a lot of protest poetry. There are poets who are activists who are engaged very aggressively in politics. Um, but I think Amakai was a poet, and I take him as my model, um, who wrote as a kind of citizen that he saw the personal in terms of the political and the historical, and he saw the historical in terms of the personal. And it registered for him. And he wrote as a kind of engaged citizen. And so he didn't take on politics directly in terms of issues. It wasn't, his poetry isn't a poetry that will tell you how to vote. And I've tried to emulate that. But it will tell you how to think about people in a community, people in a polis. And the film shows, and Amakai's poetry steeped in biblical tradition, mm -hmm. in the common wisdom of the people. And he takes those stories, and they're living stories for him. And he applies them, and he appropriates them, and he uses them and turns them to speak to contemporary events. Mm -hmm. And it's something that he counts on as being um, part of a community, part of a, part of a people. And to me, that's a model on how to be. Um, you're a citizen, you're involved in the world, you're part of history, you participate in the world. And because I believe that poetry can humanize us, I think it's part of the task of poetry to engage human subjects, to make us more human, and to see other people in more human terms.